It's a sign that marks the end of one story and the beginning of another. And for Andy Malnoski, it was a sign in the literal sense, an epiphany. The town of Shippensburg, home of the 1990 USA Major Boys Champions. And uh, when I saw that, that was it. I was hooked. So I got a knock on the door one day. He asked, told me who he was and everything and told me what he wanted to do. And I said, yeah, come on in. So he interviewed me and he started doing the research for ESPN, ABC Sports and all them. Ground ball to short. Thrush throws and Shippensburg has done it. The celebration was on for Shippensburg Little League. He had hours and hours of research into this thing because he tried to buy some of the film and it was an outrageous amount of money for the film. So they wouldn't do that. So I gave him a lot of film that I had. It was very tough. And, uh, but no, not once did I ever feel like giving up because I knew that this had the potential to be something special. And I knew how much you know, significance and importance this team had. A school project on a group of kids with a storybook tale. The prototypical small town team defying the odds to step onto the national stage. Their story may live on in newspaper clippings and trophies barely ever seen. But in with those trophies lies a team treasure, a personal trophy and accomplishment. It all started in Williamsport at the museum and it culminated uh, down in Shippensburg right before Christmas. It had a, a screening on campus for the fans and the family members and friends to come and watch and relive it. But the documentary was only the beginning. Yesterday, the Shippensburg All-Stars were back in Williamsport for the first time since their World Series appearance, being honored during the United States Championship game. I really believe if it wouldn't have been for Andy coming back into the picture and doing all this, I'm not sure we'd have had a reunion. I mean, I think some of the boys probably went up. It would have been just like individuals going up on their own. But he's got all this together, and he did a, he did a great job. You know, I was just fortunate enough to be the guy that put it together. And, um, you know, they're the ones that did all the work. They're the ones that, that made certain that uh, they were national champions. And Shippensburg has made me an unofficial part of the team. It's just a true honor for me to be able to... Uh, have done all this and uh, you know, hopefully um, you know, they'll look at it and say, hey, you know, this is, this is what a good person's all about. You'll never forget that, that year, 1990.